For the moment though, let's turn our focus to Pragash, Kashmir's only all-girls rock band that has stopped singing due to threats, but there's now huge support pouring in for them. That's right. In fact, speaking to CNN IBN's editor-in-chief Raj Deep Sardasai, German and Kashmir Chief Minister Omar Abdullah said the government is willing to provide protection to the girls if they want to continue singing. But what are you going to do beyond tweets to try and ensure that this all-women's rock band doesn't disband as is now being feared and is actually allowed to continue and perform? Well, obviously the decision uh, to continue or not to continue ultimately lies with the girls and their families. Uh, from our side, we will try and ensure that anybody making threats uh, who is identified, the law will deal with them the way, law, the, way the law is supposed to deal with them. Uh, we have received no requests from the families uh, to carry out any sort of threat assessment uh, of these girls or their families. And uh, should such a request come, uh, immediately the police will do a threat assessment and, and if necessary protection will be provided. So, I, I, are you then saying that the government will act against the culprits who are threatening the girls because you've got a, a mufti who started this, uh, uh, this entire debate by saying it was un-Islamic and issuing a fatwa and now you have these threats to these girls. Will the government, state government be ready to act? against these re religious figures or so-called religious figures who use a fatwa to target innocent girls? Look, I think uh, actually the, the uh, Grand Mufti stepped in only once uh, social media had done uh, most of the damage. In fact, the initial threats to these girls uh, were made on the pages of Facebook and uh, uh, through uh, the characters on, on Twitter. Uh, and unfortunately, I mean, the, the sort of threats, I mean, it's, it's one thing to want these girls to stop singing because you think their singing is un-Islamic. The sort of threats you are making uh, can hardly be termed as Islamic when you are you're threatening these girls that they should be raped and their dead bodies thrown in a river. Uh, I mean, if that is what our religion is telling us, then these people need to go back and have a long, hard think about which religion it is they're following. Uh, as far as the Grand Mufti is concerned, Look, uh, Jammu and Kashmir is a secular state. It is a Muslim majority state, there's no doubt about that. But it is a secular state. And, and this government or the, this state doesn't function on the dictates of religious leaders. I mean, today if we start taking dictates from the Grand Mufti, tomorrow we'll get dictates from Nagpur, day after we'll get dictates from uh, Amritsar, and there'll be no end to this. Uh, Jammu and Kashmir, the government of Jammu and Kashmir, any government, whether mine, my predecessors or my successors, we are sworn to uphold the rule of law and sworn to uphold the constitution. Of course, we have our religious beliefs and, and uh, we, we, we take right. pride in them. But, but that's not to suggest that we will allow threats like this uh, to just go ahead and, and uh, uh, be acted upon. So, I, you know, those are very fine words, but my point is the Grand Mufti is appointed by your government. Will no, you he's not. A debate or, no, or no, 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 Rajdeep, I think you've got your facts wrong. Uh, the Grand Mufti is an inherited position. His son takes over from him and the Grand Mufti does not, does not get any money from the state government. So please uh, don't be under this illusion that we pay the Grand Mufti. He is not a government appointee. He right. does not owe his allegiance to the government. He does not. He is in no way a government representative. His views, his fatwas, he gets paid for his fatwas. The Grand Mufti can be approached for a fatwa, and uh, uh, that's that's the way in which he conducts his affairs. He is not an appointee of the government. Okay, but but will you will you provide full protection to these girls should they decide to continue with their music career? Is the, is, the, is the state of Jammu and Kashmir willing to take on the fanatical elements, if I may call that, the extremist elements who believe that women uh, and all women's uh, rock band is un-Islamic? Are you willing Ra to go you to know, that Rajdeep, extent to prove the secular credentials of the state? Rajdeep, the sad truth is that, I mean, Jammu and Kashmir has always had a musical uh, culture, a musical history. I mean, Sufiana, Sufi Islam has its origins in, in music, whether it's the poetry of Lal Dead, whether it's the singing of, of Habak Khatun, whether it's uh, the singing of Noor Jahan Kashmiri who cut uh, albums, whether more recently uh, Shamim Azad singing. We have always had a culture of, of singing and, and therefore I see no reason why these girls, just because they've replaced the santur with the guitar and the, 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 uh, the tambaknar with the, uh, with the banjo, doesn't mean that their music is any different from the music that we've taken pride in in the past. So yes, if uh, these girls continue to, to I mean, if they want to continue with a musical career and uh, their families feel that uh, uh, security should be provided to them, the state will do what is necessary.
Well, apart from the Chief Minister, many prominent Kashmiris too have come out in support of the ban and condemned the fatwa. In fact, lawyer Shabnam Lone and also actor Amir Bashir blamed the state government for not acting against the religious diktats. Here's an excerpt from India at Nine. The Mufti has given a fatwa. Is he a constitutional authority? He is not. Yes. Now, why were the things allowed to go far beyond a point where these girls are in hiding now? Do you really believe that these girls can summon up the courage to take on, let's say, uh, fanatical groups? Wherever the state has failed, you will find these elements, which are fringe elements. The state has all the power and state abuses that power all the time in Kashmir. All the time. Okay, that's... But they go like, they become like lambs. Okay, so you're... Innocent lambs. Oh, we don't know. It's up to the girls. What do you mean it's up to the girls? If somebody has published a threat... Yes. A life-threatening threat... What are you waiting for? Unfortunately, the people who are in a position of power to change things, right. they have capitulated just to remain in power. So yes. unless and until the people who are there at the helm of affairs, right. if they do not deliver, the best thing is change them. Art has survived. You know, it was there before religion. It right. has survived religion already. It will survive religion. These are human beings who have every right to express themselves. Will the majority of Kashmiris yes, support they will. them? They will. Yes, they, and they are already supporting them.